time for another microbit fire alarm system test. Let's get started. Still has the same alarms on the same um, settings and everything. So chime, this is a continuous chime on the Commander 3 with 60 candela strobe. And all these alarms are all strobes only right now. Uh, no sound connected right now. We do have the microbit there. So I've expanded the system quite a bit with these exit signs here. Because the exit signs will flash when the alarm sounds. But also with these micro bits that are controlling these exit signs, I also um, added some heat detectors and some pulse stations. So here in the utility room, we've got this exit sign that will also flash with the alarm. So here in the utility room, we've got this micro bit uh, cute bot thing. And um, right now, it's kind of weird how it's set up because these two front lights will flash with kind of strobes. And it's ultrasonic, ultrasonic sensor, it's a hard word to say. Um, it can be used as kind of like a manual activation. It's not really a pull station, but if you hold your hand in front of it for about a second or two, it'll sound the alarm. So I'll demonstrate that later for sure. Alright, so here in the garage, that's exit sign, micro bit. Some wires going up there, which I'll show in a minute. We come down, and we got a fire alarm thing. So this is a pull station I made. It's supposed to resemble the um, BG-12 in the uh, way that when you pull it, it latches. And it has a spring mechanism, so that way when you reset it, it automatically pops back up. So I'll show that as well later. So those wires I was um, showing earlier, these go to these, uh, the strobe light up here, which is this fire. So then it blinks, you know, it's got that NeoPixel LED strip, so it just, so, I have flash white, that's it, it's kind of boring, but, it's a strobe light, it's what it's supposed to do, just flash white. And then up in my room, we got this exit sign, with wires, going down to the micro bit, a button there, and, the uh, snap circuit speaker down there, which does make a little hissing sound, not 100% sure why, but it's not that annoying. So now this might be here since it triggers using the ultrasonic sensor. When I move my phone close, it should trip it. There we go. Flashing. Oh, and I forgot to mention outside this little LED that I kind of uses a strobe light. So now I have all my control buttons on the ground here, which I know is a little weird. But that's the reset button for programming the microbit. I forgot to reprogram it or update the code or whatever. That's that's for you don't want to press that because I have um it running a clock thing. And if you hit that, it'll also reset the clock, which is not good. Because the clock is used to um, dim the exit signs at nighttime, which uh, you'll see in my other video about the exit signs. But this is the silence slash reset button. So I press it to silence it, press it and reset. Like that, the system is normal. Now, some of the microbits do take a couple seconds to fully reset, so I can't set right back into alarm yet. But uh, we'll head over to the garage pull station, which I think is pretty cool. So here we have the pull station in the garage. So as you can see, it says fire. In case of fire, pull down all the way and let go. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So you kind of just pull this out like this. And there's a spring in here which kind of holds it up. And then there's um, two magnets, both have aluminum foil on them. And then when they touch, this is an alligator clip. The um, wa um, electricity flows through, goes back to the micro bit, making it go into alarm. So, 
Here we go. And now this also doesn't activate when you pull it. So now to reset the pull station, you just kind of push it and it pops right back up. So also just hold the pull station right here. And that's all I'm gonna do for this test. I know there's some things I haven't tested but this, this has kind of been a lot already that I've tested and stuff, so in next test I'll probably show the other stuff. So thank you for watching.